The crystal tower lies beyond this portal. Now comes the interesting part. Sid, you are the only one of the of our number who has ever crossed this threshold. I ask that you take the lead for the present. I say the energy radiating from these statues is palpable. Lucky for us that it is, one might otherwise stroll past them. Feast your eyes on the elemental defenses which prompted our lengthy preparations. These sentinels prevent would-be intruders from advancing to within 20 alms of the tower's inner reaches. No matter how swift they may be. Happily, the crystal fangs we took such pains to craft should spare us the inconvenience of instantaneous annihilation. Here, allow me to demonstrate. It's cheap, it's too. Dangerous to allow anyone else to risk his life testing one? Quite right. I made the damn things, it's my job to see that they work. very effective. Success! I, for one, am convinced. Friends, ready your fangs. The last one is yours, old friend. It seemed only right. Ah, we did it. So much for the outer defenses. Indeed, the entrance to the tower is near at hand. My blood fairly sings with anticipation. Speaking of blood, I have a proposal for the next stage of the expedition. I suggest we wait here while Sophie and a hand-picked party of her adventuring companions enter the tower. What? Without us? I thought we came here to survey the entire structure. We did, and we will, but our investigations must proceed at a more measured pace. If the outside of the place is this well defended, can you imagine what awaits us on the inside? Only a true hero could reasonably hope to brave the hazards ahead and live to tell the tale. Sophie here fits that description better than anyone I know. I like how I'm just like standing there like all casually not even looking at them while they're talking about me. And it is not as if we shall be idle in, their, in her absence. While Sophie and her companions are risking life and limb to beat us a path to the tower, we can set about 
and analyzing this rubble for evidence of how it in how its technologies function. Your knowledge of ancient lore will be invaluable in that endeavor, historian Grahatia. Ugh, you ever tire of being right, old man. Ahem, Sophie, as it seems I won't be accompanying you, allow me at least to provide some instruction. The maze that surrounds the base of the tower is known as the Labyrinth of the Ancients. During its uh, during this initial foray, I suggest you concentrate on ridding the place of hostile elements. When you are reasonably certain the maze is secure, contact me via link shell, and we shall join you post haste. No matter what Master Garlon says. Though we would prefer it if any relics you encounter remain intact. You have leave to do whatever is necessary to secure ingress to the upper levels of the tower. Fortune go with you, Sophie. Okay, so Crystal Tower is based on Final Fantasy 3, so if you're familiar with that game, you will see some familiar bosses as we do these dungeons, or raids, I guess. And I'll go ahead and say now that people are going to rush through me <laughs> when I do these because, you know, this is like really old content that most people are just doing this as um, part of their daily raid rotation so they're just like getting one random raid and this is, just happens to be the one they get they just want to rush through it as fast as possible a lot of the mechanics don't exist anymore so this is more going to be an atmospheric kind of a thing you're not going to like kind of the same way that it was with um <clears throat> with the uh, Binding Coils of Hamet, where you didn't, over here, uh, where you didn't get to really see the um, mechanics so much because my friends were so strong. Same kind of thing here, except this time it's more that they're just everybody's so strong. Like the whole group is just really strong now, and they're just gonna tear through everything real fast. So. I'll try to explain some mechanics as I go, but I can't promise too much, unfortunately. It's been a long time since I've really done this either, so... Obviously these first couple rooms are trash mobs, and you stay on the raised platforms, so that the poison, because there will be poison that forms up, uh, you don't want to be on the lower parts in that poison forms, but we kill everything so fast. Maybe this last one here will see some poison. There's a chance. There it is. All that purple poison. Alright. That is pretty much the entire trash. The rest of this is just going to be boss after boss. And the first boss is a bone dragon. And... Interestingly, you have to kill him like three times. So 
So we'll kill him, and then he'll summon, when he dies, his skeletons will be summoned that you'll have to kill as well. Right there. And then the summoned skeletons need to die. Dragon comes back to life, yay! I don't know why they pulled him all the way over there, but whatever, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna try to focus on helping the skeletons. See, the thing that doesn't make sense is that the skeletons run to wherever the, the, um, the dragon is, so, like, pulling the dragon over there means that further away from the or the skeletons go away. So I don't get it, but whatever. I mean it really doesn't matter. Like you can see we're killing it too, but you used to have to like split up the skeletons. Like uh there's all these different um there's like three different or six different wings. And so you would want to try to separate the skeletons, and each group would try to take down a skeleton. Nobody even cares anymore. Like, you just AoE everything now. Hey, touch the shortcut. There it is. Basically, AoEs have gotten really strong, and it comes back to what I was talking about a while ago. Um, there used to be only, like, one class that was good at AoEs, and it was the Black Mage. And everything else that was DPS was pretty much a single-target character unit. But now, there's lots of things that are good at AoE. Dancer is pretty good at AoE. Um... Obviously, Black Mage, Red Mage. Um, I think what else there is. The summoners actually even have it. Some AOE, not a lot, but some. Um. Alright, so this fight, most of the, the people stay on the platform back there. And you have to stay on the platform to activate the other platform so that people can hit the um atmos it's on the on the lit platform but um so the, all the range people have to stay on there And then all three groups have to kill their Atmos. And then what I was doing as a tank was trying to pull the mobs that come up a little bit closer to that back platform so the range people can hit it. But then once all three Atmoses are dead, then the pillar or the steps come up or whatever. So. It's funny that used to be not hard. It was, that was never hard. It used to be just really funny because there would always be one group that was like slow. Like you'd always have two groups done and then the third group would be like waiting forever. All right, Thanatos is interesting. He's gonna have um, all these magic pots you see on the edges there. And the magic pots actually heal us. So we want to keep them alive. The only people that can hit Thanatos are the people that are in, currently invisible, which I'm not. And that's what the blue beams were at the beginning. So, if you're not invisible, then the job is to kill all the ads because the ads will kill the pot. So. Just 
just gonna be running around grabbing ads as best I can. Uh, I... Oh, I'm invisible now. Okay, so I should be tanking. Okay, anyway. And once again, it's just a matter of being high damage. Everybody's damage is just so high now. Because even though my level has been lowered, that's the thing you gotta remember is that even though my level has been lowered, the gear is also lowered, but the, because it's so much higher to start off with, it lowers down like a percentage. And so, um, unless a dungeon or raid says it's gear capped, which those do exist, um, you still get more stats out of the lowered gear that is higher to start off with. So gear from Endwalker, even though it lowers, is going to give you better stats in general than the gear that we would have had at level 50 doing this originally. So that's part of it. And another part is like all the people that can do AOE now. Um, like I said, they didn't used to be Samurai. Oh my gosh, Samurai can do so much good AOE. Okay. I'm back here. So this fight, each group takes one of the demons and then you have to kill the demon, but there's also these bombs that show up. And the bombs will try to go and blow people up, obviously. Um, it's kind of a race, this fight. Because you're trying to... Um, kill these demon things before... Um, that big bomb gets really big and explodes. Um, and then if those little bombs explode on top of the big bomb, then it makes the big bomb bigger. And gets them closer to exploding. So. We're just trying to really rush. And again, obviously this used to be somewhat challenging, and now it's a joke because like we can kill it so fast. And then once the all the um demons are dead, why did we not okay. It takes a while for those tethers to go away. Once demons are dead, you just kill the bomb, which takes like no time at all. And it's done. I mean, I guess that kind of counts as trash, but really it's kind of a boss fight in a way. The next one used to be, oh my gosh, a nightmare. Behemoth! Interestingly, there's also a Behemoth world boss, which you'll never see me play. Because <laughs> it's so rare to Odin and Behemoth are like the two big world bosses. And it'll just never happen, because... Right, so somebody grabs the Behemoth. Then there's going to be this Iron Giant. I'll grab him. Maybe. Now, you see those people with green markers on their heads? They're going to drop a rock, and then the behemoth stands up, and we have to stand behind the rock, blocking ourselves from the behemoth. So that when he casts Meteor, uh, we don't die. Now I have the rock. Okay. As long as you're behind a rock, it doesn't really matter. You just have to be behind the rock. I should kill the behemoth before he gets another one down. Yep, okay.
Alright, this fight is not much fun for the tank. And visually, you're not going to enjoy it very much. <laughs> and I'll explain why in a second, but... Nobody else is tanking him. Like, nobody wants to go tank him, I guess. I, can, I guess I can do it. Fine. Maybe it will be visually fun. Nope. I'm out of Okay, well in that case, I need to go do my job. Look out for the bacon bits. Okay. So my job is gonna be... He drops his little AoE circles and stuff. You gotta stay out of those. You gotta stay out of the lava pit. In the back of the fire pit. This is my job right here. See that claw? Dang it. Somebody else grabbed it. Am I not in the right group? I'm in the right group. Okay. Alright. And then here at some point he's gonna get right there. Run to the center. And when he does that, you have to run to your circles. Those people that are standing in the middle are gonna die. Hold you. That's a one shot, no no doubt kill. Um Like, it doesn't matter how much level you are, that's a one shot kill in suit. Why does he keep grabbing other people? I don't know. Usually I have no problem grabbing that, um... That claw, but for some reason, I... He wasn't coming to me today. But really, this fight, you just have to stay out of the AoE and then make sure you get to the... Pillars here. All three pillars have to have people standing on them, because if they don't... Why? All three pillars have to have people standing on them, because if they if they don't have people standing on all three pillars, then the thing will um, not light up and protect you from flare. And if you don't get protected from flare, everybody dies. But, and that's it, that's the first one. Oh, there's Sophie. Very impressive, I must say. Your name shall be writ large in the volumes that are sure to be pan or pinned on this historic expedition. The scale of this structure defies comprehension. Someone plainly thought bigger was better. According to the findings of my Valdesian colleagues, the Crystal Tower was constructed to collect and store the endless energies of the sun, a characteristically ambitious undertaking. Now, what of the tower's inner defenses? Judging by your haggard expression, clearing out the labyrinth was no small feat. A giant of a man building a shimmering scimitar, you say? Yes, that will have been Phlegetheon, uh, not Archeon. Phlegetheon. He was a hero of the Allegan Revolution. And you glean that from what exactly? His choice of weapon? Well, I am a historian. And I have a certain, shall we say, affinity for the lore of the Allegan Empire. It is, of course, all of knowledge gleaned from musty scrolls and tomes. The ancient texts claim that the Crystal Tower is defended by the champions of Eld, resurrected and augmented through the Allegan's extraordinary technology. Chief, you need to see this.
Well, well, there it is, the foot of the tower. What surprises do you have in store for us, I wonder? I can't tell you how glad I am to have you with us on this little jaunt, old friend. Had you not beaten a path through the maze, I very much doubt we'd be standing here now. Well, we have much to discuss and digest. Let us retire to St. Koinox Find for our present, and there plan our next step. Lest there be any doubt, our expedition has come way to has some way to go yet. Trying to fix this, but I 